So here's day 20. I think the first thing I'm gonna do today is put the stairs in. I should have done that a while ago, but I was letting my back rest up. It's gonna be a landing that drops down from there and then a straight run of stairs down to that other landing. So I can take this railing down and get this stuff out of my way. So first I gotta grab that and throw it up there. And then I'll put my stick out of the wall and drop it down from the top. So it's gonna sit just like this. So this side will go against the exterior so I have to put fire guard drywall and then poly on it. So I'll put that on and then I'll nail a block on there to hold it and then I'll drop it down. Now I have my poly and drywall on there. So this part here is gonna be 14 inches. So I need to measure down 14 inches from there and that'll be the bottom of the landing. this part nailed so I'll go underneath and nail it to all those studs and then I can take that 2x4 off and run the stairs I'm gonna have to fill in this space here too though I'll do that later though so now I got this on its line so I'll put about five nails on every stud and then I'll also leg bolt it later so that side's all nailed I'll also nail it up to here nail this into that beam That's all nailed in up there. Now for the hard part. I have to get this big set of stairs up to there. I think I'm gonna th th try and throw it in through the back window or else I'll get it in through the back door. I don't know, whatever is easier. So these ones are my basement stairs and those are my main floor stairs. So I'll throw these basement ones right in through that basement window. Try to get this big one in through the window or the door and then up to the second floor. Well, I didn't think the window was going to work. I can't get it high enough to push it all the way in. I'm gonna have to go through the door. Except it's wider than the door, so I'm gonna have to put it up sideways. So the new plan is to get the top over to here, put it in sideways through the door, and then get it in through here. I only have a little space to go through, but I'll slide it in sideways through here, get the top up there to about here, and then tip it back down to over there. That's the plan. It's a tight fit with all this lumber in here, but I just gotta get this top up through there. It's gonna be kind of hard though, cause I don't have a lot of room with the floor here. These are big, so I'll try and get the top up there and up to there.
Well, that was easy. Now when I drop the top down, I don't want the bottom to slide out. So I'm gonna nail a two by four on there like that. And then I'll get the bottom of this on the other side. So when it tips down, it can't slide out. Now I'll just pull the bottom of this, put it on the other side and tip the top down up to there and nail it. Actually, I think this railing's gonna be in the way. I'll have to take that off. Well, I couldn't have put that block in a better spot. It stopped it right there, and then as soon as it dropped down, it worked out perfectly flush at the top. Nice and flush up to here. So now I got some stairs. So now that these stairs are in, I can build a walls right here. It's gonna have a wall. Well, there's gonna be a wall with a door in it right here for the basement. So there's gonna be a wall right here for the door and that wall is gonna run this way along the stairs and it's gonna run to about right here and then the rest of this is gonna be a glass railing down the stairs so I need to have one more post in for this beam because it's only a one ply beam there's supposed to be another post right here that's just why I have this temporary one in here but I'll build this wall now and put the temporary or put the real post in and then frame it for the railing and then frame the door. And then it's gonna have a ledge, I think about 39 inch ledge right here. Now right here, it's gonna have a ledge, a 39 inch ledge coming square off of here. But I'm gonna build the floor out first. I'm gonna build a floor out of two by 10 just to come out, sit on a wall right here. And then I can build the ledge off of that and build the wall off of that. So this wall is gonna sit on the floor and come all the way to here, but I need to build a little section of floor here. I'll just do it out of two by tens. And then that's what this wall will sit on, go all the way up underneath the beam. And then it'll have a 39 inch ledge right here. Here's everything for this floor cut. I got two two by tens of 49 and a half, two at nine and a half. And then this two by four, these are for the wall that the two by 10 is gonna sit on. So I'll build a little wall out of the 2x4s, build a wall out of the 2x10, put the 2x4 wall in, put the 2x10 wall in, and put the floor sheet on it. This 2x4 wall will sit right here. And then the 2x10 floor will sit on top of it here and get nailed to that beam right there. put the plywood on it. Okay, now I wanna put my bottom plate on and then I'll stick frame the rest of the wall in place. But I wanna run my bottom plate right through so I'm gonna cut an inch and a half off of this post. It's nailed here so it, it should stay there for a second. To cut an inch and a half off, this part of the saw is an inch and a half so I can just put it straight on the floor and go like this. inch and a half. Now the plate should fit right in there like that. Now I'll put my plate in there. I'm not even going to measure one. I'm just going to stick one in there and cut it off at the end. Now that one runs right through. I'll cut it off at the end. Now I can move this post over to about here. This wall is only going to come to here, so I just have to get it on this side. And then I can build the rest of that wall. And then I can take that post out and frame this flush to the top of here for the glass railing. So my two top plates are going to be 69 and a half inches. They're going to sit 
right up there tight to that beam and the back side of this wall is flush to the back side of that beam so i can nail these two both up there i got a mark up there where it needs to start from Now for the post, I want it to land right on this metal post here. So I'm gonna put the post here. It would be nice to put it on the end of the wall right here, but I'll just put a stud on the end of the wall and then I'll put the post about here and then it will transfer down to this steel post down there. Now for this glass railing part, I'm gonna frame it like this, flush to the top of this, down till I get to here. And then I'll go flush on the end like that, down to here. And then, since they have this so far back, I think they're gonna put their big post up here that they'll attach the glass railing to. So I'll frame it to there. I want these stairs to be three quarters of an inch away from this. So I'm gonna put this one by four here so that I can put the two by four up against it. Now that that's on there, I'll take my measurement from there to here. This should be long to short of 40 degree bevels. And it's 48 long to short. And I'll double check that it is 40 degrees. Yeah, 40. So 48, long to short, 40 degrees. It'll go just like that. I'll check what this one is. This will be from the square side to the short side of the bevel, 19 and three quarters. And that should fit in there just like that. Perfect. Now I'll just put one more stud in right here. I'll go 19.2 off of this one. And the last one goes in like that. There's that wall all done, except up in the corner here, when they're gonna wanna put drywall on the ceiling, they're not gonna have anything to nail their drywall to. So I'm gonna put this on here like that so that they have something to screw the drywall to. Now on this part, it's just gonna have a 39 inch ledge here that'll go flush with the front of this, just up 39 inches in square. So I can just build a two by four wall, whatever from here to here, and then put a ledger on the wall and then put a piece of three quarter sheeting on top. So my wall is going to go right here, but I'm going to put this on first as a ledger. And I'll have to put a backing in this corner. So I'll put another stud in there. Now I can put this piece in here like this, and that'll be the drywall backing for the corner. And then I'll put a little block in here to hold it straight, and then I'll put my sheet on. And there's the ledge all done. It's too dark in here though. I think that means it's time for a beer.